I'm scared of a lot of things. You know, the usual. Bugs, spiders, needles, titans, ghosts, ugly clothes, titans, horror movies in general, titans. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you about how I got one of my worst fears. Heights. Anyway, this story is really ironic because I was so excited to do something that involved heights that it ended up triggering my fear of heights. <laughs> Traumatized, yeah. <laughs> so I was around the age of 7 to 10 when I went to a music festival that's held in my town every year with my mom. I begged her to let me go rock climbing because they had it every year, but we just never had a chance to go. Please! Onkashima! <laughs> Freaking weeb. So she finally took me and I got in line and I gave the worker my ticket. I was so excited, so ready to finally go rock climbing because it was something I always wanted to do and I was finally gonna get to do it. Yeah! I got the equipment on and the rock climbing guy told me when I reached the top of the hill to hit the little bell. Got it. Oh, it's little taters. You poor innocent little child. Unaware of the trauma that you're about to face that will affect you well into your adult years. What? Trauma? <laughs> I jumped up and I started climbing. I was having so much fun. I was already so high on the hill, my adrenaline was pumping. And then the higher and the higher I got, I saw how tall the thing actually was. I started shaking. And I panicked. <laughs> I was way too high and was too scared to move. Imagine a deer in headlights, but instead of being in the middle of the road, the deer had climbing equipment and it was climbing up a mountain. And then they suddenly see a person at the top of the hill and they just stare at it. That was me. I started crying for my mom to get me down and I turned around and she was just staring at me with this really disappointed face. Mommy! Come on baby girl, you can do it! You're so close. I can't! Yeah, you can't! Look, look! All those younger kids are passing you! In the time that I was climbing, about three other kids already made it to the top. No! Oh, uh, oh god. Okay, just, just come down then. I need help. You're, you're not that high. Yes, I am. Uh, oh gosh. You want to know how high off the ground I was? About four feet. <laughs> I wasn't even halfway up the wall. I was like less than half of the halfway point. I was so close to the ground that I could literally just jump and I would be perfectly fine. But no, my adolescent mind thought that I was on top of Mount Everest or something. <laughs> so after I was stuck on my adventure for about five minutes. The worker and my mom eventually cut me down because I was crying so much and just panicking for literally no reason. <laughs> but at least the worker gave me my tickets back. So I decided to go on the tramblaze instead, which apparently wasn't scary compared to the rock climbing, even though I was literally propelling myself into the air and the point of the trampoline was to do backflips. And I couldn't even do the backflips because I was still sobbing and still scared and I kind of just jumped around. <laughs> so that's my embarrassing story of how I got my fear of fights. Now over the past few years, I have been trying to break out of my fear and actually been on a bunch of roller coasters. Woo! Progress! Because once you're strapped on a roller coaster, yeah, you can't really back out. <laughs> So, what's your guys' fears? Are they as embarrassing as mine? Let me know in the comments section below. So remember to like and subscribe if you like my video, and I hope you guys come back for more. Until next time, later taters!